We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus on this precious day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Our God is good. He is gracious. He is merciful. My dear friend, every day that God gives us is a day to celebrate. It is a day to be happy, a day to be joyful. I tell you, my dear friend, as a child of God, you are not a victim. You are not a victim of the devil and his attacks and all the plans and that he and his cohorts come up with. You are victorious. You are victorious in Christ. And the mindset should change from that which says I'm a victim to that which says I'm victorious and I'm overcoming. I tell you, my dear friend, the Lord has made a way for you. The Lord has opened up the way. By the power in the name of Jesus and the blood of Jesus and your testimony, you can overcome the enemy and all his schemes. God has invested tremendous potential and power in you. I tell you, he has given you spiritual weapons and the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Whatever strong fortress, whatever strong establishment, whatever strong spiritual force that the enemy has set up against you, the weapons that God has given you are strong in pulling those down. They are mighty in pulling down strongholds and fortresses that the enemy has set up. And one such weapon is the blood of Jesus. Today we're going to pray special prayers applying the blood of Jesus. And I trust, know and believe God is going to bless you. So let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, in your own words, right now, welcome the Holy Spirit in that place where you're watching. And then we'll go into a time of prayer. Precious Holy Spirit of God. I welcome you in studio, I welcome you in studio, and I welcome you in the place where my dear friend is watching. Come Lord Holy Spirit and take over control and help us to pray, help us to press in. And as we conduct a good spiritual warfare today and we apply the blood of Jesus, bring deliverance, bring protection, and help us today to apply the blood of Jesus and conduct a good spiritual warfare, I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, let us begin by praising and thanking God. And then I want to quickly share scripture with you. And then we'll begin applying the blood of Jesus in every area of your life. So in saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise you and we thank you. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy that is released to us today. Every day that we get, your mercy is anew. Your grace is sufficient for us in all seasons, in all circumstances. And even when we find ourselves weak, your grace makes a way. By the grace afforded to us through Christ, you empower us to make it through. Even when we are weak, your power is made perfect. We lift up your name and we give you praise. You are the God who speaks in your lips. And we thank you. Thank you for another day to praise you. Thank you for another day to seek you. Thank you for another day to spend with our family and friends. Thank you for a great opportunity to live on, to press on in Christ and enjoy the blessings that are made available to us. Thank you for the weapons that you have given us, which are mighty through you to the pulling down of strongholds. We give you praise and we lift up your name. We lift up your name and we thank you. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you that we can be saved, that we can be born again, that we can be reconciled back to you. Thank you that we can be blessed, we can be delivered. And we are victorious in Christ. We are not victims, but we are victorious. We are winners. And you have won the battle, for the battle belongs to you. You have made a way for us, and therefore we are victorious. We give you praise and we thank you even today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. My dear friend, I discern the presence of God. Now, the Bible says in the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 11, it says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. My dear friend, I tell you, God has given us tremendous weapons. God has given us the ability to overcome all the traps and plans of the enemy. He has given us grace. He has given us the ability to overcome all the plans and the traps of the enemy. He has given us the grace to make it through. 
And two of these weapons that God has given us are the blood of Jesus and our testimony. There is spiritual protection and it is also symbolic. Through the word of our testimony, we overcome the devil by testifying as to what Christ has done for us. Just these two weapons alone are enough to bring a change in your environment. Today, we're going to apply the blood of Jesus. And as we begin, I encourage you, comment and agree, connect in faith, and apply the blood of Jesus in every area of your life. In saying that, let us begin. Father, right now, we ask you for your protection and your guidance as we apply the blood of Jesus over every area of my dear friend, your dear son, my dear friend, your dear daughter's life who is tuning in. Whenever they will tune in, wherever they will tune in, as my dear friend applies the blood of Jesus, protect my dear friend. Right now, my dear friend, I apply the blood of Jesus over you. I apply the blood of Jesus over everything that concerns you to the very fibers of your being. I apply the blood of Jesus over your family members and over your loved ones. I apply the blood of Jesus over everything that belongs to you. I apply the blood of Jesus over your purpose, over your destiny. I apply the blood of Jesus over your health. I apply the blood of Jesus over your mind, over your emotions that the enemy will not be able to attack. I apply the blood of Jesus over everything that concerns you. In your purpose, in your destiny, over your opportunities, over all that God has given you and over all that God is still going to give you, I apply the blood of Jesus so that the enemy will not be able to get in and corrupt or stop that blessing from coming. I apply the blood of Jesus over you even as you sleep, over your room, over your house, over everything in your house. May it be marked as that which belongs to a child of God, a believer, one who trusts in Jesus. May the blood of Jesus speak for you and testify on your behalf that you are born again and this is the place of a child of God. May it be symbolic that you have given your life to Jesus and you have believed. And wherever the enemy tries to come in, may he find the blood of Jesus, sealing all doors of access points shut, that he will not find any way to get in. May he be protected body, soul, and spirit. May God keep you in a place where you experience true peace and happiness. May he give you strength to keep on going, even as we have applied the blood of Jesus today. I decree and declare it is well with you. It is well with your loved ones. It is well in your purpose and destiny. It is well in your place of employment. It is well in your business. It is well in every area of your life to the very fibers of your being. It is well in your health. I decree and declare in faith the blood of Jesus has been applied over you and you are protected. You are protected going in and coming out. May the protection of God be your portion, in Jesus' name. And may you be surrounded with goodness and mercy all the days of your life, in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. It is done. God bless you, my dear friend. Thank you for tuning in. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. Until next time, Shalom and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.